Hey folks, Cooking with Kel Bob here in my ordinary kitchen with produce from the garden, the vegetable section of the, var of the garden. Uh, hey, today uh, we're going to make an aioli sauce and we're going to drizzle it on some cauliflower. I had this while I was down in Latin America. Big shout out to my new friend Ron from Miami who turned me on to aioli. And I'm going to make a killer aioli sauce. You're going to love this, folks. You're going to love this. This just takes a few minutes. Stick around and watch this. But first, along with me, is my ordinary grill dog, Sherman. Good catch, buddy. Good catch. And, of course, everybody should have a grill dog because when you drop food on the floor, you don't have to bend over and pick it up. So the first thing we're going to do with our aioli is we are going to break some egg yolks. Now... I'm going to do two heads of cauliflower, so I'm going to double this recipe, um, but it's going to go something like this. So I'm going to start with two eggs, and all I want is the yolks, and I'm going to go ahead and break those into a blender. You taught me that at chef school. I'm not too good at just getting the yolks. And of course, since I'm doubling my recipe, I'm going with four yolks. Man, when I was in Latin America, the vegetables down there were just incredible. I had a, I had a cauliflower down there. It was kind of a flash-fried cauliflower. And I thought it was this recipe, but it's not. So I made this recipe thinking it was the, the flash fry, kind of like my favorite restaurant in Cape, 36 Restaurant, has a beet salad with a flash fried kale on top. And um, I thought that's what I was making, but aioli is a little different. Aioli is more in the mayonnaise family. And uh, we make it with a, with a light olive oil and some garlic and some lemon. It's really easy. Uh, but boy, you put that on top of, uh, you know, cauliflower. You can see I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do cauliflower here. And uh, so I've got a little bit of cauliflower guts in there. Tear that out. But anyways, so I'm going to combine the egg yolk and then I'm going to squeeze about a half a lemon. Uh, in my case, I'm going to do a whole lemon. Get some good fresh lemon juice. And if you're like me, you get the seeds in there. We'll always wash our hands when we cook. So I'm going to pour my lemon in. I'm using just a regular blender. Then I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of ground mustard. Sherman, I don't think you'd like this. Of course, I'm doubling, so I'm going to do a two half teaspoons. I believe that's a whole teaspoon. And I'm also going to add a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Somebody give me the definition of kosher salt. Um, put a reply in the video on what makes salt kosher, so to speak. If you know what I mean. So then I'm going to go ahead and blend this. The blender, it's not just for margaritas anymore. Sherman, come here. Nice catch. Then what I want to do is I want to slowly pour in three quarter cups of a uh, of a light olive oil. And finally, I'm going to take uh, two cloves of uh, pressed, uh, finely diced garlic. And I'm telling you, this stuff is strong. All kinds of different variations of aioli. Um, I, I hear all kinds of great recipes out there, and I happen to like mine with a little bit of garlic. So, the rest is pretty simple. 
I have, uh, and, and my friend Ron, big shout out to Ron, Ron told me the secret to this is always bake it in cast iron. And uh, as an old scout, I'm never without my cast iron. And I think if you've watched some of our other videos, you know that I love to cook in cast iron. So what I've done is I've, I've taken two heads of cauliflower, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, salt and pepper lightly with the, with the regular table salt. So once I've seasoned that up, I'm going to hit it with... Um, some more of this kosher salt. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour just about a teaspoon into my hand. And boy, that kosher salt, when it's baked up, when it's baked with, you know, whatever you're baking, butter or olive oil, or in my case, aioli, it really adds to the flavor. That's plenty. See this stuff, see it's, it has the consistency of, of mayonnaise, which if you know what mayonnaise is, it's oil and eggs for the most part. Mmm, you can smell the lemon and the... So I'm going to get my handy dandy spoon. And we're going to just start drizzling this all over our cauliflower. So there you have it. That's what it looks like. Look at it over here. And I've preheated my oven to 400 degrees. Sherman, come here. You're killing me. Oh, you lost connection. And voila, 30 minutes later, now, I highly recommend potholders. <laughs> highly recommend potholders with cast iron. Sure, in fact, I'm going to do the pot holder gloves. I think a pot holder is a roach clip. But this, oh my gosh, oh look at this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at that, folks. Cauliflower baked in aioli that I made myself with my own two little paws. We're going to try some of this. Put a little on my plate. It's going to be hot. I get it. But I can't do my deal until I try it. Oh my god. Oh my god, Sherman. Sherman, we killed it. Oh my god. Oh, that is so good. Folks, if you want to give your vegetables a little bit of flair, a little bit of special chef touch, make some aioli, drizzle it over your favorite vegetable. Cook it in cast iron. I knocked this one out of the park. For Grill Dog Sherman, Kel Bob, out.